Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Since 6 a.m. Eastern this morning, we've been bringing attention to the work of Gladys George, who in our last film, this week's essential, The Maltese Falcon, had great billing, but only a really small role as the widow of one of the early victims in that film. From here on, you'll see much more of this wonderful actress who made her movie debut in a silent film from 1919 called Red Hot Dollars. Already a huge star in the theater at that time, she continued to alternate between stage and films for the next 34 years, with many impressive movies on her resume, including the 1936 film Valiant is the Word for Carrie, for which she was an Oscar nominee as Best Actress. Well, up next we have Gladys George in another one of her greatest roles, the lead this time before she began spending more time in supporting parts. Our movie is the 1937 version of Madame X, made by MGM, and a story about mother's love in the tradition of Stella Dallas, about the sacrifices one woman makes in order to protect a child she adores. This is a story that, as they say, has legs. Madame X had first been a play written in 1908. Then there were two movie versions back in the silent screen days, after which Ruth Chatterton did an early sound version in 1929, directed, as a matter of fact, by Lionel Barrymore. Then came this version we're about to show you, but the saga of Madame X doesn't end there. In 1966, there was an expensive version produced by Ross Hunter, starring Lana Turner. So even in 1937, <laughs> this wasn't exactly fresh material. But hey, it has to have something. Otherwise, people wouldn't have responded to it for so many years. So here, directed by Sam Wood, Gladys George giving a superb performance with the cast that includes Warren William, John Beale, Dickie Moore, and Ruth Hussey. From 1937, Madame X.